the Zodiac Killer is one of America's most infamous killers. During the 1960s and 1970s, Zodiac murdered at least five people, often couples, in secluded areas near San Francisco. His first victim was Sherry Jo Bates. He wrote a confession about her, including the message to beware. Hello everyone and welcome to my new series where I take a look at famous murderers and famous murder cases. I have not come up with a name for this series yet because all the names I thought of were already either shows or series on YouTube. So I have no idea what to call it. If you guys have an idea, make sure you leave it down in the comment section below. But let's go ahead and get started. Days after the first murder, Zodiac started sending coded messages that taunted police officers and newspaper sources. He signed each letter with a circle with the plus sign over it. This was his symbol, the Zodiac Killer's symbol. One of his most famous ciphers that has now been decoded, partially, reads this. This is the Zodiac speaking. By the way, have you cracked the last cipher I sent you? My name is... The rest was not decoded. It was a series of 13 symbols that were supposed to be his name, but to this day, we are not sure, for the code has not been cracked. On August 1st, 1969, three different news articles received identical handwritten letters in envelopes without a return address. The letters read this. Dear Editor, I am the killer of the two teenagers last Christmas at Lake Herman. The letters also included some details that only the killer himself would have known. The killer also threatened that if his letters were not on the front page of the newspapers, that he would attack more people. One of his ciphers was decoded by a high school teacher named Donald Hardin and his wife Betty. This cipher read, I like killing people because it is so much fun. It is more fun than killing a wild game in the forest, because man is the most dangerous animal of all. In my opinion, this next thing is the most gruesome thing he has ever done. Three days after the fourth known Zodiac killing, there was a murder of a taxi driver named Paul Stein. San Francisco Chronicle received a letter claiming the crime. It was written in the same cipher as the last letter, and it gave details of Stein's murder, and it had a bloody scrap of Stein's shirt. At the very end of the letter, the killer said that he would next shoot a tire of a school bus and, quote, pick off the kitties as they come bouncing out. At the end of the Zodiac Killer's strikes, there was confirmed five people dead, two injured, and there was possibly 20 to 28 total dead. The Zodiac Killer has claimed that he had killed 37 people, though. There were a lot of suspects of the Zodiac Killer including Lawrence Kane, Ross Sullivan, Arthur Lang Allen, Richard Marshall, Earl Van Best Jr., and many more. There's also a really popular conspiracy theory on who the Zodiac Killer is. A lot of people suspect it being Ted Cruz. Because one of his speeches is titled, This is a Zodiac Speaking. Also, because he tweeted an image of one of the Zodiac's famous cipher messages. Of course, there is the point that Ted Cruz hadn't been born when the Zodiac's crimes were occurred. But if you think about it, if Obama can fake his birth record, couldn't Ted Cruz too? Well, this was pointed out in a Twitter thread. Well, that's about it for this video. If you guys liked it, make sure you give me a big fat thumbs up. Click the subscribe button if you are new. I am trying to post at least one video a week now, and... I feel confident that I can do it. If you want me to discuss some more famous murderers, make sure you tell me by leaving a comment or just simply a like. And if I missed anything, make sure you tell me as well. Do you think the Zodiac is Ted Cruz? Tell me why or why not in the comment section below. And make sure that you check out some of my other videos.